So the video was posted by a profile called You Only Wish 500. And he had made a comment that said, all haters can suck my huge dick, lol. And it was a very interesting comment to make. Um, I don't know why you would tell people to do that to you. And when I clicked on the profile, I noticed that they had also liked a video for the movie Catch Me If You Can. You're gonna get caught. It's like Vegas. The house always wins. Leonardo DiCaprio plays a counterfeit con man, and an FBI agent goes around trying to track him down across the country to catch him. Which to me, I took as a big, hey, hey, you're never gonna catch me, ha, huh? fuck you. That was a message he was sending. I'm throwing down a gauntlet. I dare you, I challenge you to try and find out who I am. I was like, oh, okay, this person wants to play a game of cat and mouse, and I'm up for that. You can't find a person, but you can find objects in the room that would tell you where this person is. It looks like a very small, cramped room. I mean, you're talking like maybe eight feet by 10 feet wide. But for me, there's a lot of information in there. You see a door, a bed, a table. You see a door handle, a light socket, electrical receptacles. And those are things that we know can point to like maybe a specific area of the world. Wall sockets in England are different than they are in California. We picked apart every little thing in that room. But then I created a schematic or diagram of the layout of the room so everybody understood where each thing was. The wolf bedspread. This wolf bedspread was hideous and it was sold on eBay, made by a company in North America. It only had one buyer, and we couldn't see who that buyer was, but shipped internationally. Didn't help us at all. He could have been anywhere on the planet. But then, holy shit, that's a yellow vacuum cleaner. First thing, yellow vacuum. OK, there's tons of them. One thing that I learned in all of this is that there's an internet forum for everything out there. Are you into vacuums? There's going to be an internet forum for it. So I found this vacuum cleaner repair forum. Thousands of people post, I've got this tube, I'll send it to you. You know, I've got this hose, I can send it to you. So I posted to this vacuum forum. Hey guys. They identified it immediately. The Kenmore canister cleaner, the Aspiradora model, 721-26082. Awesome. Guys, thank you so much. You've been so great to me. I can't appreciate it enough. Oh, you're welcome, sweetheart. Hey, and just so you know, that's only sold in North America. So this is it. So whoever made this fucking video, whoever this guy was, we knew that we could start looking in Mexico, the United States, or Canada. But they still didn't know where he was. We went through every picture that we could. So sometimes when you take a picture, there's digital information stored in the picture. And it's called exif data. You know, the model of the camera that took the photo, the date the photo was taken, the GPS location of the photo, you can take a photo and upload it to a website that will show you all the EXIF data. So that's exactly what we did. And then, boom, 
it's got GPS coordinates on it. And it was me this time. And I'm like, holy shit. And I took a screenshot of it, sent it to John Green. The photo in question has Luca sitting on a beautiful chase lounge. It looks to be a fancy department store. And automatically on the EXO site, it gives you a map and it puts a pinpoint. And it took me to the Toronto Eaton Shopping Center. Toronto, Canada. But the date the picture was taken was absolutely key. October 25th, 2010. So at the end of October 25th, he's in Toronto, and then the Kitten Killer video happens in November. So we were like freaking out. Oh my God, he's in Toronto. We thought he might be in Canada, but now we fucking know he's there. He's there, he's there, he's there. So I do what I do best. I'm gonna find his actual address. I found a picture of Luca and he's standing on a balcony. It's like the third or fourth floor of like an apartment or a condo. But what I really noticed was at the corner of the intersection was a gas station. And the gas station was called Petro Canada. So the first thing I do is I jump on Google Maps and literally there's hundreds of Petro Canada gas stations. But I start cross-referencing things. I remember Luca made this blog post talking about how the paparazzi was harassing him. They were trying to take his picture outside his condo in Etobicoke, Canada. Etobicoke, hmm, that's interesting. Where is that? Etobicoke is a suburb outside of Toronto. I wonder how many Petro candidates there are in Etobicoke. Six. Well, this is gonna be easy. So I literally start clicking on each of the six Petro Canada gas stations. When I click on it, I go to the street view and I look at it. I go, nope, that's not it. Number two, street view. Nope, that's not it. Number three, click. Oh, that looks exactly like the Petro Canada gas station that I see in the photo of Luca. And guess what? That large gray cement apartment building is directly behind it. So then I take my cursor and I click on it and I rotate the street view 180 degrees. And I'm looking directly at the apartment that Luca is seen in in the photo. 304 Mill Street. So now, I've got this fucker. 